So uh, today is uh, today is the second of June. Uh -huh. Stupid day. Did it? I don't want to show my car like uh. Anyway, you get it. Thursday, 2nd of June, 2.47 p.m. So, uh, yes, my, um, my video is uploading, and I haven't really checked my, um, channel. And then I was checking my comments, and, uh, someone left a comment, uh, on one of my videos, um, uh, asking me... <laughs> I think it was a video where I talked about electrical engineering and someone said how how do I pay wait a minute what was the comment I have to read it how do you survive who is paying for all this shit and I read that comment I was like uh, you know <laughs> Sort of like I feel like I felt. You know what? I should actually make a make a video and tell people exactly, exactly how I survived. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I live in a house that is owned by my brother. We moved into this house last year, I think. Was it last year? I think it was last year, right? Um, anyway, we, we, we live here. Uh, all right. And um, I pay... Uh, so I live with, the, with my brother, mom, and the dog in this house. Uh, I have my own room. Um, it's, it's, it's his house. I, uh, I pay... Um, I pay every fortnight like three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars a fortnight. Uh, so that's like one hundred and fifty a week, right? So where does the three hundred come from? The three hundred is is taken out of like my disability support pension. Yes, I I I uh, I get like nine hundred and. I won't, I won't give the exact amount because I don't, I don't want people to like dox me or something. So I'll give the, 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 the roundabout figures like nine, $930 a fortnight. So out of that $930 a fortnight, I give 300 to my brother for the rent or something. And so that leaves me about 630 bucks. And out of that 630 I usually, well, for the past few months, I've, I haven't been eating <laughs> that much, so uh, I would maybe pay $150, sometimes more. Anyway, out of that 630 I, I pay for the food, and I pay for, uh, you know, I, I pay for my food. Uh, well, other than the breakfast, my mom buys uh, um, bread and something. But for the, you know, vegetables, which I eat, I pay. So anyway, food, and then I have to pay for things like, uh, you know, Netflix, <laughs> which I barely use, uh, or Xbox Live, which I barely use, uh, Audible, which I barely use. So I'm paying for all these things which I barely don't use. About $50 a month. And uh, I have to pay for my phone, that's like another estimated not exact but around fifty dollars that's like hundred dollars there um and then i gotta pay for my anyway some other things uh, let's make it hundred and hundred forty all right maybe hundred forty for the all these other stuff like bills uh 
so build and then the food at the moment is 150 but I think it'll probably go up if I start eating properly it'll probably go up to maybe 200 a fortnight uh, so at the moment it's 150 so let's just keep it at 150 uh, so that's 300 out of the 630 gone which leaves me 330 and out of the 330 sometimes I've got medic I have to buy medications so I have to buy the effects there that's not much that's like seven dollars but then all right so let's just say I have like 330 or 320 dollars um, yeah so out of the 320 dollars a fortnight I buy things <laughs> and I buy things like this uh, so I bought, I bought these books secondhand books well yeah. I thought, I, I thought this is like something like very cheap you know this book is like probably if it is new like this is an old edition but it would have been so expensive and, and I got like because of the thing about going you know I'm doing chemistry this is like probably like hundred dollars we bought but I bought it on online on a books and it's like man it was very cheap so this is to help me study for the thing and uh, oh man this is like oh so heavy unbelievably heavy but it's got really nice pictures in it you know see it's got, <laughs> it's got nice pictures I love the pictures it's one of them, look at all the pictures, it's really, really nice, but the, oh my goodness, how heavy is this? It's like three, four kilos or something. So I buy things like that. I bought, <laughs> this is a new book, I bought this is a new book. Uh, so I buy books and I buy um, computing stuff and I got so many stuff in it, like you see all of those boxes so there are things that I haven't even opened like those are the lights I want to set up the lights for the videos and you know all these things like you know, see all of that stuff you know for computer and everything so I I buy things like that for the with the three hundred dollars you know I actually put on or sometimes I save up so I can you know get like like I, I bought a monitor like a 20 20 40 hertz monitor uh but it's outside my room <laughs> I got there like a few months ago or something and I still haven't set it up so because I'm so lazy or because I find it difficult to do things all these boxes like there are lots of deliveries outside like I buy I don't know I don't maybe I have a buying problem <laughs> I don't want to pathologize everything but so out of the $330 a fortnight, I usually have a problem saving. I'm, I'm not good at saving, so I tend to buy things with it. So, okay, so that's how I... Yes, so uh, that's how I survive. And... Oh, as far as the degree goes, um, so I, I checked my... Um, like, you know how I did? I studied... Uh, I... I I completed a bachelor of bachelor of art theory art theory which is a unique degree I don't think they have that degree anymore so it's, it's not a bachelor of arts it's a bachelor of art theory which is which is uh, where I went to study it was at the College of Fine Arts it's, it's, see that degree is not uh, that degree was um, uh, the faculty not faculty was the um, art faculty anyway um so i got that and i also got a bachelor of laws so that was um i did i so i did that and that and i i also did a graduate diploma in legal study this is because i want to do you know when i wanted to like work as a lawyer uh, so all of that money, right? That's paid by the government, right? So the two undergrad degrees I did was uh, like subsidized. What that means is like, for instance, uh, well, let me give you an example. Let's see, uh, CSP place. I know, uh, it's called a Commonwealth supported place 
Uh, all right, let me see. Okay, so for instance, if I was back then, I was studying law, and for that, it's like you have to pay a lot. Actually, uh, you have to pay more money for studying law and administration, accounting, then you have to do to pay for medicine, dentistry, or veterinary science, and engineering, you have to pay even less. I guess, I guess the way they set it up is that, if you, the, the, for instance, if you're doing like English, math, uh, nursing, education, man, you, you, that's like the lowest amount. You pay like $498 for one subject, you see? Anyway, so... Uh, let's see, so if, for instance, for instance, what? That doesn't make any sense. How much did I pay? Anyway. I don't, this doesn't make any sense for me. Okay, so the way I understand it, like, is like, so, so for for those uh, for those two degrees and the graduate diploma, I borrowed borrowed money from the government, and uh, let me give you an example. I don't have, to, I can't, I don't know why I'm not getting it. Let's say, uh, okay, it's like I, it's like the government pays like three fourths of the money, and I borrow the one fourth <laughs> from the government to. Um, so if the if the degree is, let's say, it's like, I'll do an example. Let's say if it's like hundred grand, the government, if, if it's a commonwealth supported place, the government pays like 75 grand and then if I, uh, I can borrow the 25 grand and then I can, I, I paid that back to the government and the way that happens is I can voluntarily pay the money or if I earn like above like 50 grand, there's like a, tre tre they call it a threshold. If you earn, if you if you earn above a certain amount every year, the they will take some of that extra of your earnings to pay for the loan. So I have a loan. My loan at the moment for all of the studies I've done is like it's like 55. Thousand, fifty-five thousand dollars. Um, which sounds a lot, but if you think about how, like, if I were, if I, like, if you're in the U.S., for instance, you would have borrowed maybe two hundred fifty grand, maybe even three hundred. Who knows? But for, because here they do this kind of. Um, subsidized thing if you're like a citizen or if you're a permanent resident or um, you've got, there's another one for humanitarian anyway so that's 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 how I pay for it and uh, yes so they also like at the moment I can borrow like 99 grand ninety nine thousand dollars to pay for any studies uh, yeah. Um, hmm. So um, I'm thinking that I might actually pay for like you know. Yes, I. Uh, you know, like going forward, I was thinking like if I was doing like three subjects 
a semester that would be like I, have, I would have to pay three thousand dollars so for like 12 weeks three thousand I, I could say I can save up that money so I can pay it up up front so I don't have to like <laughs> borrow more money uh, so instead of borrowing money from the government to pay my share I can just pay it up front and if you pay up front they give you like a 10% discount so if I pay like for instance for if I'm you know when I'm you know I I haven't gotten I know I said I'm going to study medicine but I haven't really gotten an offer <laughs> so I'm, I will know if I got an offer or not on the 9th of June and uh, I hope I get an offer uh, you know I have five preferences but if I don't get an offer then I'm going to I'm going to find out why I didn't get an offer and then I'm going to, I'm going to try and um, do what I need to do to get a place so I can do this so I haven't gotten a place yet but I, I hope I can get it and you know if I don't then I just have to ask them why didn't I get in what do I have to do uh, you know so <laughs> anyway so um, yeah so that is how I survive and that is how I am planning to pay for the studies and I, I'm on the disability support pension and um, you know I, I like last time when I went to do the degree uh, you know the electrical engineering I told them like you know I want to start the degree and um, they are they are you know they asked me if I needed any like apparently like if you're gonna do study they, they give you this extra kind of uh, <laughs> money for like books and courses and things like that and I said I didn't take it um, so in a way you know uh, you know I, I am sort of in a good place if you think about like yes I can I don't have the pressure to work or you know book for work and you know it that seems like yes that's a good place but but then again if you think about how I actually am in my life where I really don't do anything you know I don't have a social life <laughs> I spend all my days in my room I don't go out so it's it's like it's not really that easy you know what I mean it's not easy for me to go out of the house and um, you know that's a that's a challenge um, there is a <laughs> there is a challenge there uh, so it's not like yeah So yes, the I am allowed to study when I'm on the disability support pension. Uh, they are, they do allow you to do that. <laughs> um, and like they even like you, you can. Even, my understanding is you can even work, but like you just have to report it. So if I if I well, I don't know, like maybe they, let's say I did some part time job or something, or maybe just one off or whatever. If I got any money, I just have to tell them I got this money. Um, so that's how they do it um, but as far as studies I don't think they they say oh you've got to uh, you know change to another stream you're studying but, but no, they do allow you to study uh, because I did tell them uh, last time and they said yeah that's all right uh, yeah well hopefully everything goes you know you know, I am glad that I have this support, this financial support, because it, it was like a while ago, it was very stressful for me to have to, you know, look for a job and I was very stressful. <laughs> that was very stressful. Uh, 
And I'm also on the NDIS. Oh yeah, I do have uh, NDIS funding. So like my funding for the NDIS is like 50, 50 grand or something. And I have used up, so I can use my NDIS to help me. Like if I'm having struggle, if I have troubles going out, like I can hire someone to come with me so I don't have to go by myself, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, so, I, and I, so I have some funding to help with that. So that might be of assistance. I haven't really used much of my NDIS funding because I don't, I don't know. The NDI is actually contacted uh, one of the local coordinators and said, Why is this person not using their funding? And I actually told her the NDI as I sent an email saying, oh, oh, All I do is stay at home. And uh, I, was, I told them, like, I feel like you know, I'm, I'm taking, I'm holding on to resources that other people could use, uh, you know, because I had funding for 50 grand. And I told them in an email, you know, I, I feel like, you know, other people could use this money because, you know, uh, <laughs> I told them I felt like I was just holding on to this money and not, you know, and then they sort of like, you know, I told them I just, I just stay at home and, uh, you know, and they, they actually uh, sent someone to check up on me. <laughs> I think they sent an email to my local area coordinator and then she called me and said, Oh, dude, are you doing okay? <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly what she said, but then, anyway, that was another whole thing. Um, so, yeah. That's how I. Um, I have this disability support pension, and for the university, I, 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 uh, the, I have a. It's called a Commonwealth supported place. It's called a Commonwealth support. If I'm going to pay full, like if I pay full fees, right? I won't be able to pay. I mean, the theoretically you can borrow money, but it'll be like, no man. A Commonwealth supported place means that. Uh, like the government pays three fourths or maybe even more, and you pay like uh, like one fourth, and uh, you know um, before I started my um, electrical engineering degree last year, I I sent an email to the uh, <laughs> to the department to the government department that handles the um, you know, education, whatever. I told them in an email, I told them in an email, all right? I told them, I want to study in this electrical engineering program. Do I have the email? Um, hmm. What is the department, education, where is it? Because I did send them an email saying, uh, what did I say? Um, I told them, like, what? Oh. Oh man, where is that stupid thing? Oh shit. Anyway, I was one of these government departments. It has been. So I told them like, look, I wanna I'm gonna <laughs> the, uh, the... Oh yeah. No 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 not that. Um education commonwealth. Department of Education, Skills and Employment. I think that's the one they call it, right? Uh, education Skills. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Well, it's my video. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna drag this out. Uh, I am dragging this out. I want that. I want it. I want that email. Cause I want it. I want it. Wrote. Want that email. I can't find it for some reason. I can't find it. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? I can't find it. Uh, oh, I can't find it. Anyway, I asked them, you know, I told them, like, oh, you know, I I can't. <laughs> I told them, you know, I haven't paid back the loan, and I'm not sure if I can pay back the loan. <laughs> I told them before I enrolled, and I was, I was saying, you know, I don't know if I can pay it back. And, um,. I, you know, they don't say anything, that's why. I was like, you know, you know that money I burn? I, I don't have a job, I haven't worked like in... <laughs> I don't have a job. I don't know if I can, I have a problem. Uh, and they... I didn't say anything. Was that, you know, that's what happened. You know, I just wanted to check with them if they had any issues with me. Man, I can't believe this. Why isn't I can't find this? Why can't I find this? I'm gonna find this. Oh, wait a minute, is this it? Uh, 
Oh, let's see what I can search for this. All right, so for instance, uh, the income thresholds for study and training loans repayments changed on 1 July 2021. If you earn more than, if you earn $47,014 or more during that financial year, but I think they might have, uh, so that's the amount, if you earn more than that, They'll take a uh, part of it and uh, give it to the uh, yeah. What the hell is this? Oh man! Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think that. Oh, okay, here I, I sort of uh, told them this. Is, I think this is the email. Um, so at the beginning, I'm just giving them some details. Actually, in the first email, oh, this is to the um, Department of uh, Employment. Uh, what do you call that? Um, employment skills and education skills and employment. Department of Education skills and employment. Alright, in the first email I told them like I'm, I'm trying to apply for this new degree um, and I asked them how much I want to know how much I can borrow if I did decide to pursue it and they asked me for some info and then I tell them that <laughs> I tell them like oh, I give them my details and I tell them you know I changed my name and I tell them I'm trans and I tell them I, I got a recognized details certificate and I tell them, I mean, I, I'm a, oh. oh, here, here's the, the key thing. Uh, I want to point out, I owe more than $50,000 to the Australian government at this point in time for my HEX loan. It's obviously, yeah, a little bit more. I didn't know the exact amount. Uh, that's, I'm trying to figure out how much uh, was the exact well, like anyway, gotta find that later. So here, here you go. I obtained two undergraduate degrees from UNSW on theory and law, and I obtained a graduate diploma in legal practice at the College of Law. I have not paid any of the loans back. I am on the disability support pension. Uh, I have not worked. <laughs> I have not worked for most of my life. I have been on social security payments like this almost in my life. I have mental health problems. I am an NDIS participant. I'm not sure. I'm an NDIS participant. I am not sure if I can pay any of the loans back. I am not sure if I can do an electrical engineering degree. I have an interest in it, but I'm not 
sure if I can do the studies and attend course sessions at this moment in time due to my mental illness. But things could change in the future. I don't know. Um, I want. I just want to know if I can obtain a help loan from <laughs> from the Australian government to pursue an engine electrical engineering or other degree program in the future. So that's what I told them, and they thanked me for providing the information. Oh, but they didn't respond to any of the stuff I said. They're just responding to the, um, you know, just, uh, oh, they just wanted my driver's license to confirm the identity. All right, so I told them, oh, I guess, you know, um, you know, I, I, I did complete the degree. I mean, I think they were like one course where I sort of dropped it, but I still had to pay for it because I dropped it after the census date. Um, so anyway, uh, this is my long rambly response to that question. How uh, do I... Um, I said, how do I um, support myself or how am I doing this? Yeah. Um, yes. Um, that's how I am. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's like I feel ashamed somewhat, but, you know, I feel like I should, like, oh, People are working so hard. They're working two jobs, uh, and you know, and and look at me, man. Why don't I do that? Well, well like I, I, yeah. I, I don't know how to answer that question. I don't know how to answer it because, you know, uh, you know, if someone comes and tells me, I don't like you, you are a bum. <laughs> so, Europe. I can understand why people would hate me. They would think I'm a bum. I am uh, leeching off the government. I am not doing my part. I'm. I'm not um, contributing to the community. I'm. A <laughs> All I do is take, 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 not give anything back. Uh, uh, oh, uh, I, uh, I, I, he got me there. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I don't know how to respond to that. Um, if someone feels that way, okay, I guess. If that's what you think of me, and, um, I don't know what to do. Okay. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. Uh, all right.